Hello nerds, uh, things are a little bit different. I have so much editing to do, so little time to film today, so we're rushing through this. Let's start with television news, and TV news is, uh, we're just gonna jump right into it because we've got so little time for the edit today. Uh, we have Hellstrom casting announced finally. We have uh, Sydney Lemon, Elizabeth Marvel, Robert Wisdom, June Carroll, Ariana uh, Guerrera, and Elaine Yui. Uh, Tom Austin as well. Sorry, I, I for whatever reason skipped over Tom Austin. So now we know who is in the Hellstrom series. Uh, I did not recognize really any of those names, so I, I, we're going to see what they have to bring to the table. Next, we're talking about The Walking Dead. Uh, this is more about the new series that still is yet to be titled. There is no official name for this new series, but it is going to a new platform. Uh, while AMC is helping with the development, it is only going to be on AMC in the international market. Uh, for those of us in the States and in a select few other markets, it will be going to Amazon Prime. So if you do not have Amazon Prime, then you will not get all of your Walking Dead needs met. Next, we're talking about Are You Afraid of the Dark? This one's real quick. The first episode of the new miniseries, the new uh, I, yeah, miniseries, I think, is is the proper way to say this, uh, is up for free on YouTube. Go check it out. Link in the description. Uh, and then our final video, or our final piece on TV news has to do with Black Lightning, a show that I watch sometimes. I'm just super far behind on it, so we don't talk about it a whole lot unless there's something big, and this is something big. Wayne Brady has been cast as uh, Tyson Sykes, a.k.a. Gravedigger. Uh, from the comic books, he is going to be in the show, and Wayne freaking Brady is going to be playing him. Which is kind of exciting because Wayne, I don't know if I've ever seen Wayne Brady do a serious role. So I, I, I'm really looking forward to that. I, I guess I got to catch up on my Black Lightning before season three starts, right? So that's it for TV. Next, we're moving over into movies. Movies is relatively short. So uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the live action show that we've been keeping tabs on, THR is reporting that it will also be going to Netflix uh, alongside the animated series that Kevin Smith will be show running, uh, which makes sense, right? You have a live action version, you have an animated version. Why not make them both the same on, on the same platform? It it just makes sense. Uh, next is one that I actually should have put in the last video and for whatever reason skipped over it in the notes. Uh, it is Inspector Gadget. Disney has announced that they are officially rebooting Inspector Gadget. So... I don't know how I feel about this. They have on board the Aladdin producers, Dan Lin and Jonathan Elric, uh, and they are also the producers that are behind the Home Alone sequel reboot thing. So, I... It's interesting. We also got an announcement that writers Mikey Day and Streeter Seidel from Saturday Night Live will be on board for the project, too. Hopefully, it's better than the Matthew Broderick version that came out in the 90s. Uh, for those of you not old enough to remember it, you're not missing anything. It wasn't the greatest. If you're, I mean, if you're not old enough to remember that, though, you're probably not old enough to remember the cartoon that it's based on. So, yeah, I don't know. Go watch the cartoon if you're going to go back and watch anything. Uh, next, we're talking about Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. No actual news about the movie itself, but we did get an announcement from John Boyega's agent, for whatever reason... Uh, that we will be getting a brand new trailer for the movie, which means reaction over on Generally Nerdy. We will be getting a brand new trailer for the movie next week alongside Monday Night Football, which is a little weird, but it's not the first time they've done this. Actually, for the last two movies, we've gotten a Monday Night Football trailer release, so it's kind of expected at this point. Uh, I've never been so excited to watch Monday Night Football in my life. Uh, so, and then our final piece for movie news has to do with the Joker. That's right, the Joaquin Phoenix version of the Joker. 
potentially, and this is a very, like, almost should have put this in the rumor mill, kind of very small potential, uh, potentially might be getting a sequel because Joaquin Phoenix can't get it out of his head. He loved the, doing the character so much. He loved the possibilities. Joaquin Phoenix has never done a sequel to any of his movies, but if if this mindset sticks and he and Todd Phillips can work out something quote unquote interesting, then it seems we might get a sequel to this year's highest grossing or highest opening release in a uh, October, <laughs> whatever those qualifications are. We might be getting a sequel to that. And that's, that's kind of cool. I, I, I would like to see what they can do with it, though then they're treading really thin ice that, that they would be tempted to try and link it to the DCEU, and then that just would break a lot that really works about that movie. Uh, so that is what we have for movies, guys. Now we're going into gaming, and we only have one piece of gaming news, and it is the PlayStation 5 has officially been announced as being released next year for the, quote, holiday season, so sometime September, October, November, likely. You're not going to see it released after Black Friday, probably a few weeks before Black Friday to a month before Black Friday, so that puts us in October of 2020, uh, which now fuels rumors that Microsoft is going to do the same thing. They are going to be releasing the Xbox Scarlet or whatever the actual name is, uh, but that announcement has yet to be made. But that is all we have for gaming. And we've got some rumors. So rumor mill, we have two pieces of rumor mill. First one is relatively small. It is uh, Suicide Squad. Nathan Fillion's role has apparently been leaked as Arm Fall Off Boy. Yeah, I had to double check and make sure that was a real thing before I put this in the rumor mill, and it is a real thing, and I don't know, I don't, I don't know that, I mean, it's Nathan Fillion, and we're kind of anticipating him to just have a short cameo, so that would make sense that he would have a less than important character to play, but that just seems too obscure to be f for real, but it is a rumor. Uh, and then our last piece on this episode that is oh for October 11th 2019 has to do with comic books there is a rumor that DC is going to be doing a sort of reboot with their continuity not really the same like you're thinking it's not a flashpoint it's not a rebirth it's not a new 52 it's nothing like that this one is more of a secession uh, it seems that they're going to be passing off their main titles to the next generation they're calling this d5 reported because it is going or G5 or 5G rather uh, reportedly because it is going to be the fifth generation uh, there's there's a lot of speculation on what the first four generations are exactly where they break off but fifth generation sounds like they're going to be passing off Superman uh, potentially is going to be Superboy and the interesting one in this rumor is that the Batman Cape and Cal is going to be passed off to Luke Fox and not to one of the Robins or to uh, Batgirl or Batwoman or anything like that. It is the, the rumor says that Luke Fox will be the next Batman, uh, theoretically because like the Robins already have a pretty solid role in that universe and Luke Fox, from everything I've read on him, and I haven't, haven't read ex extensive books that uh, that deal with Luke Fox, but that's partially because they don't really exist. There's not a Batwing book. Uh, there was, but it's not, I don't know. I didn't read it. <laughs> that's, that's, so it makes sense that because he's one of the less established characters in the Bat family that he would then become the Batman. Uh, this is all rumor, all speculation, so... Uh, and, and again, if I was wrong about the, the Batwing thing, please correct me, but I'm, I'm fairly certain I'm pretty accurate on that. Uh, but yeah, that is all we have for these crazy, interesting rumors. That does it for this episode, guys. Uh, what did I miss? What should we talk about next week? I know we're talking real fast. We're trying to get things done. I have so much work on my plate. Uh, what did I miss? What should we talk about in the next one? Let me know in the comments down below. There's a website, joelynerdy.net. There is a Patreon, patreon.com slash joelynerdy. All of these things, if you're falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, then there's a, a box probably to the left of my face right about now. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all of these things. Before we go, before we do any of these things, guys, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.